with a car review. Today we're reviewing the Hammer Extreme E, so that's the one that you can get from the auto show without having to do anything in the seasonal events. So you might have guessed by the name, it's electric, so it's got no engine. It's just got four, well, it's it's got either four or two um, high power and high torque motors. So, this is the Hummer version of it, but they're all relatively similar. So, without further ado, let's get to some driving. Should probably switch on streamer mode. Audio. Here we are. Okay, so I think we're just going to do a bit of a trail race. 100 meters. Turn left. race yet. Um, I've not actually done many races in Forza. But if you didn't know, the maps in Mexico and there's a lot of desert. I personally prefer Horizon 4. In 400 meters you will arrive at um, your destination just because it's got more interesting sort of landscapes and just general playability because they've added a lot more but they've not actually got any um, they've not got much diversity within it so they've not got like, there's very big expanses of very samey terrain and scenery. There's not actually much, um... There's not actually any, um... Sort of small... Pockets of scenery. Anyway, off we go in the extreme area. The launch festival is very nice. And we've got a few other extreme cars. But yeah, the braking is not brilliant, probably because the tyres aren't what you want the road, the off road should be quite good. Just picking up the car, cheesing the checkpoints. So Extreme E was a motorsport that was founded I think, in 2021 or 2020 um, and it had loads of famous drivers like there's a team that's backed by Lewis Hamilton um, there's a McLaren team and various different other teams but I think Jensen Button drives, so he's one of the older Formula One drivers from the 2000s. Um, I think Lewis Hamilton has done once or twice. I'm not sure if he's um, the same driver for each week or each race. Yeah, the car's quite good in the handling section of things, but I mean it's not anywhere up to the pace of the front of the front. Even though 
come back in extreme car. Where are they all extreme? Yeah, I think the car's in front of extreme, so that's why we're not gaining it's basically in the same car. Oh, as I say that I think That's P3 that we got, which is okay, it's not brilliant. 228.0. So yeah, everyone's, I think, yeah, two of them were extremely on the podium, me and this person in front of me in P1. Um, but they're all very trophy truck sort of things. That are at the front. So now we shall see what sort of upgrades we have. And then we can maybe try and move our risk or something with it. Which could be quite interesting. I'm just gonna check if streaming mode is on. There we are. Uh, let's go into settings. Okay, we can't get settings. So let's go into upgrades and tuning. So we can get some better. What's that? Motor and battery parts. So yeah, we've got some race motor and battery parts, brings down the off-road capabilities, but it increases the launch. So what sort of tyres have we got right now? I'm guessing we've just got some off-road race tyres, seeing as we can't... Um, Let's fix those rims. Let's get... <laughs> they look alright. Um, yeah, so what does the rim size do? Gets better handling, so if we do that with the front rim size... Okay, that's good. <coughs> oh, hang on, we want some brakes as well. Weight reduction, yes please. It's very heavy with the batteries. Get some race brakes in there. Anti-roll bars, don't really know what they do, but sure. And let's get a rally differential. Not sure if that will make much difference either. So now I think we'll go for a new livery. I'm just going to change it. So we can just go. Should we go for a sort of greeny blue? Maybe. That's quite a good colour. Let's paint the hood with that. No. Eh. Do that with a bit of sort of darker green. Paint rims. Let's just have them as blacked out rims. Paint wing doesn't have a wing. Let's have some yellow brakes. Because why not? Doesn't have wing mirrors, I should have known that. And now we can just put on some sponsors. Uh, 
if it loads. I don't know why Forza's being so slow when I start streaming. Uh, right, apply vinyls and decals. Let's go on this side. Brand logo. Extreme E. Yes. There we are. Now let's have What's that Horizon Festival, no thanks. Should we go with a bit of maybe this? Whatever this is. this up here let's go for a bit of that maybe Another brand. Let's get a bit of Goodyear on there. Makes the car look better. But no, we want that. Ah. Okay, and now let's go. Insert all from right to the left side. Oh no. Alright, we wanna go. Yes. Does that work? That little horse thing is like Okay, that won't go the other way. Right. Now we want on the front. Uh, what should we do? Just put playground games on the front. Oh no, we can't. <laughs> Need it on the roof, don't I? Right. Do that brand logo, playground games. Let's put that on the front. Aha! 270, let's make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Playground games. Is that in the middle? If it's not, I apologise. Add brand logo again. Put another good year on there. Just 
put this down here. Good year. Okay, and that'll do. So now we've got the upgrades and the painting, we can try the same race. Let's see if we finish any different. I think we'll get one more position, maybe. But it won't be that much better. So usually, Forza's electric car upgrades aren't brilliant. I just sort of make it better launching, or they just um, ooh. Porsche. Ah, look, there's Lewis Hamilton's Extreme E car, number 44. And then there's a lot of ex Extreme E. Right, so, if you want them, comment. And we could maybe try and have a couple of races online. Um, and do them in an extremely car. So like online off-road cross-country races or something. So let's do the same in race again. Meters, you will arrive at your destination. And let's see where we turn out. See if it's any different. Right, Let's go in the extreme e car, and looks quite good from the front. It looks a bit weird, mainly because of the livery. But I mean, it's a bit, a bit weird anyway. So let's see how many cars we can get off the door. Start E8. Okay, we've got more top speed. Yeah, that could be a bit of extreme cars. They presumably haven't got the upgrades. Okay, we're in P2. How much more can we get? Oh, slide yet. Yeah, okay. Okay, we've got this. Sure. A little bit of a cheeky rewind. Yeah, we got. 
got the higher top speed. Probably better acceleration or something. So, not by mind, is it? But we are in P1. Doing a bit of showboating over the line. So P1, 2 minutes 15. A lot faster. Um, probably helped by the front speed. speed. Hey buddy, there's no yeah. stopping us now. I'm getting the next Horizon Adventure prepped and ready for you. Dream E car. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.